Okay, we're gonna go on now and use the dreaded key stripper. And it's a little bit more difficult because I've got to try and do it on camera with me not in the way, hence the workbench. So I'm gonna try and keep myself out of the way and show you the key stripper. Okay then, so this time I've just cut the end with these side cutters with two holes in it, which I don't like, and I'm gonna try and use these. These are a little bit trickier to get in and do the next technique, but they're what my students have brought me. They might have to use them in the workshop, so I can't complain too much. So didn't need it now cutting with a hacksaw. I could have done it with a hacksaw, but I didn't. I just used my side cutters or my pliers in order to cut the end off it, so it's squashed down nicely. I'm gonna clear my vice off, or my workbench off, and I'm gonna to attempt to show you the technique in order to use the key stripper. However, depending on the length of which we're gonna strip back, we're going to need to score around our exit in point, and we're gonna to use tools very familiar to plumbers in order to make that scored mark. The fear is that you score it too hard. We just need a scored mark at the point of exit in here. So if I just drop that, let's drop that into there, and just put a little bit further down. I'm just going to score around the actual copper. Now, I've got to be careful. This is a brand new one to me, so I can be tendency is to go a little bit too firm. I'm not twisting that as I'm going round. I'm just trying to score it as I go. So hopefully I've got a scored exiting point there. So just there, I've scored round it. Okay, I'm going to pop it into here. And this is the tricky bit, because I've got to try and keep myself out of the way, but try and show you, obviously, what I'm doing. So it would be better to be in the workshop, but we can't be in the workshop at the moment. So I've locked that down. I'm going to take my side cutters next, and I'm going to try and nibble in to give myself a couple of flaps. So I'm going to peel it open so I can see the two flaps. I'm going to take one of those flaps and use it then for the next stage. So take my side cutters, which I hate, and I'm going to try and wind myself a little bit off here. So open it up like so. I want to keep myself out the way of the camera if I can. So let's just go again, dig in and pull, so trying to get a flap like that. Okay, so I've opened it up and I've got a, a flap here to work with. A guy I used to work with, who we used to call Irish, would only ever use his actual side cutters in order to strip some mineral insulated cable. We're gonna try and attempt to use our key stripper. Maybe that's long enough, I don't know yet. I'm gonna bring it a little straighter, so I'm gonna make it a little bit straighter flap. I could use my pliers at this stage. Make it a little straighter like so, and we're gonna use this key stripper next. So, but it slot can go in, fine, I've got it nice and flat, should go straight through there, and use these for a year. So it drops straight into there. Okay, now ready to go. So this is the bit that has no blade that goes blunt in order to strip the cable. And now the people in the room are now going, oh, it looks incredibly easy. What am I doing? So the, the trick is, what am I doing? I'm not dragging it. I'm not pulling that round, okay? As you can tell, I'm not, I'm not pulling it. I'm twisting, so watch the key. I turn the key. In order, so I'm turning the key, so I'm doing nothing else but turn the key. Now, if I bring it upright more, I make a thinner swathe. If I drop it down, I make a fatter swathe of metal coming off. So you want to compromise between the two. So we're going to go there, and we're just going to go. So round we go, so if we wanted to go a little bit lower, etc. Now imagine we got it all the way wrapped up our cable. So what would we have to do? You'd have to, and I'll show you what you do. You'd unwind it slightly. We wouldn't have to at this stage. We've got plenty of room to go again. You'd snip it off like so. You try and lose this bit. Be careful because it can be sharp. I'm sure there's somebody out there telling me I should be wearing gloves. Okay, drop that into there. We go again. We straighten it out like so. We put it back into the key. We start, wind it, and then we hopefully don't get it too far ahead of itself because we will have a problem, and we go again. So if we had to, that's how we would do that. The trick is, and this is where Gary's old eyes have got to come into, we've got to get down to here. So I'm twisting, not pulling, twisting, not pulling, twisting, not pulling. This takes a little bit of practice in order to master it, but once you have mastered it, it's one of those techniques you think, well, I, don't, I can get away with this. I've seen people use a a screwdriver on site in order to strip mineral insulated cable, just cut a slot in it. So, down we go. Now, we've got to be careful when we get to the end part. It'll be difficult for you to see on camera, so listen to what I'm saying, really, is what I'm saying at this stage. So as I'm dropping down, I need to get to the point of which I break it off, and that's the bit where you're gonna have the most amount of trouble. So once it starts breaking, you've got the smallest amount of swathe to go at them. 
So I'm pretty close now. You'll hear it maybe go tink. Slowly, slowly. It just went. I felt you probably didn't see it. It's gone. So now I know that I'm now on the very last bit to pull round. So nice and slowly, in order that we break it off super clean. It's the very, very, very final bit that's the problem. Try and get your fingers out of the way. Just go in now gently. I'm doing it a lot gently than I would. And there we go. Broke off. Now, as I look at it, it's pretty round. I'm pretty tough with that. Okay, it's broke off nice and clean there. Then we strip back the outer copper cladding and we've exposed the two conductors. And then the next video, we can go on and look at how to put the pot actually onto here and seal it. We'll look at the matching the pot to the cable. We'll look at the compound, identifying conductors, etc. I hope this video has been some help.